All right, hello again, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're doing another radio mode run, this time as Isaac. And the range upgrade gets re rolled into Polydactyly. Not really what I was looking for. Uh, but yeah, let's try and make this work. I don't know, my last loss as. Uh, Eve was a little bit disappointing to me. Um, I don't know why I would use AWAS here. A -was. Instead of. What? Alright then. I thought I could at least break that beggar, but apparently not. Anyway. Um, yeah, that uh, loss is Lilith. Not Lilith. Eve. Oh, that was pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a break, and now I'm thinking maybe just try something a little more easy, like an Isaac Weedia run. I do realize, of course, that that uh, notion could really blow up in my face, but you know, you know what it is. So yeah, uh, the first few waves are the hardest. And, I mean, we are taking damage, but, okay, I was just saying, it was manageable, but now I, I think I'm getting overwhelmed a little bit too much. But, well, <laughs> I don't want to give up that money, is the thing. Is it just me, or do you guys also think that these uh, big spiders are probably one of the worst, most annoying basic enemies in the game? Like, I do believe they belong in the basement or the, or the cellar type areas, but um, I think they're way too nefarious in their uh, uh, the way they they move and they kind of fake you out all the time and you can't hit them and you get frustrated and get careless and then they hit you and blah blah blah. But they're gone now, so... Now that was relatively okay. So now we can go and actually... My theory is that uh, the golden item rooms have a better item pool than the other one. Oh yeah, that gets rerolled immediately. I'll take the inner eye too. I'm actually, some people think it's bad. I think it's fine. Maybe it's just uh, the vanilla Isaac fan of me talking, but I also didn't mind Inner Eye as the Keeper. Oh, just two! Um, two Dukes of Flies. Ooh, okay. It's the aggressive version, too. Those can overwhelm you as well. Like, if you can't... Can't break through their fly armor, they can kind of... Keep spawning and spawning until you don't know what to do, but one is dead at least, so I don't think we're gonna end up that badly. And I think Inner Eye is also pretty good against these. Just having like this shotgun blast. It's pretty nice. Although, of course. I'm gonna try and uh, give myself a few more tiers upgrades. That's the cool thing because in greed mode or greed mode, or whatever, you, you can actually um, you have a little more control over what kind of upgrades you get. Not real control, but you know, you have more opportunity, I guess. <sighs> okay. 
So. Speed is nice. Oh, and there's a tears are great, of course. Uh, okay. I was thinking uh, maybe the D4 might be the best solution, actually. We'll see if this ends up being the case. And Pin is fine. Depending on what... Uh, well, actually, we won't have enough money for the, the D4, come to think of it. Okay, let's see what the Devil Deal has in store, and it's just black hearts and one soul heart, to be fair. Penny is not bad either. Okay, let's go down. Hmm. So far so good, I'd say. Could have been way worse. HP is fine. I will take Road Rage for the spawn possibility, although... I must be on the speed cap, right? That's way too fast. Okay... None of these really, um... Excite me. Really? Not nothing there? Okay then. <laughs> Those sound effects. I, I really like them when they're either slow it down or sped up like that. Would you please... The way those bats uh, are constantly dodging you very subtly is annoying too. That's a lot of annoying enemies in Isaac. But I guess that's also kind of the fun because once you're strong enough you can kind of shit on them and Get your revenge that way. Would you please? There we go. <laughs> okay. Not really fast enough. Not blowing the doors off in terms of damage, of course, but. You know. So far, we can kind of section off these uh, enemies right now, so yeah. Looks good, looks good. It's really the best you can ask for, to be fair. Come on. The rate of fire is so bad. Or that's why you don't pick up the inner eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this! <laughs> a little ridiculous, don't you think? Nah, I thought I'd give it a shot. Well, I mean... Nah, I'll take it. <laughs> um... Like, invincibility, when you get hit, can be very uh, important, as well as good pills, which sometimes can show up in uh, greedier mode, but I wouldn't count on it. But the invincibility can be really, really good. So, right now I just realized, <laughs> maybe breaking um, fistula there was the bad idea. Although I could just let the Han do the rest of the job. Of course now he doesn't do his brimstone. Oh, no, there it is, and it completely missed. Good job. 
What am I paying you for anyway? Well, I guess I'm the one getting paid here. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Mini tears, uh, tears up though. Stat. Um, and there's nothing we want. I mean, shot speed is almost the tears up. Because, uh, can be more accurate with your shots at least. Okay. Okay. Lack. Uh, what's his name again? Um, Black Little Horn. Kind of a dick. Shooting from uh, where I can't see him. To me, this uh, this champion is like the lung cancer version or something like that. Especially since he can't uh, help himself then to um, give me some secondhand smoke all the time, blow it in my face. Okay. Ooh, yeah. And now we don't have a reroll. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I don't know. This might have been a misplay, <laughs> to be honest. I was like, hey, let's use this for the rest of the run. But then I'm like, oh, D6 is pretty powerful. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh god. Bad present, Isaac. Yeah, there we go. Squeezy is awesome here. Yeah. Hmm. And here's the clicker again. <laughs> oh man. But I'm gonna reroll it. <laughs> That's the D100. Oh, fuck. I gotta take it, man. There we go. Alrighty. Take champion belt. And... Um, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, we don't have... Um, don't have explosion immunity. Had to test it. And here we have E. coli. I'm pretty sure we should re-roll this. To be quite frank with you. Especially since we're very... <laughs> very slow. And, uh, yeah. Although I do like the... Creepy bombs. I mean, the rise on the wall for this one. Careful! I couldn't kill them all in one shot. Uh, I gotta say though, like, it's not Doctor's Remote. Oh, not Doctor's Remote. Uh, Epic Fetus' fault. It's just me not being good at it. Tower card. Hmm. Charge baby. Maybe we can get some um, batteries on the ground. a few more times without having to pay for it, you know? That's important. 
Although... <laughs> I might have to end up um, panic rerolling me myself here, just for extra health. Jesus! I hate these goddamn gray balls flying at me. Buzz off. <sighs> oh, fuck. It's Bomber Boy. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, we have to reroll this as soon as we get a glimpse of this, but nothing really around here. Okay. So. Here we go. BL's up, so we can fly now. Um. So we can take all this. Sweet. Got a lot more health again, and uh, nothing in here. Um, not really. This convinced though of this run. We give it a try, but I'm looking at a reroll here. <laughs> Let's see. More HP is rarely bad. And here's Capricorn. Hmm. I mean, I can't really say for sure until we... Okay, we do take damage. Uh, first of all, until we see if we have bomb immunity and uh, until we see what kind of damage we're outputting as well. There is a mod though. Um, that gives you sort of um, a DPS meter on any sort of uh, run, either normal or read mode. It's basically like a puppet or a training dummy, where if you if you shoot at it for a certain amount of time, it then tells you what your damage output is, basically. Which is really cool. But, uh, of course, I don't have any mo mods installed just yet. So this looked a little bit dicey, but I think we got it relatively under control. Using Blue Baby's only friend for non-charging enemies, but uh, sometimes those get defeated by Brimstone. As long as we can break down a sight, that's always nice. Especially with four way brimstone. Maybe I should have waited um, to see if we maybe want to use Capricorn for another reroll. Like, you know, um, rerolling yourself and then picking up Capricorn as uh, like a. Instead of picking up Capricorn and having that reroll be the case. So, what's this? We got Tech X, which is amazing, but still no bomb immunity. What's up with that, huh? The thing is, you really want that bomb immunity. For sure, an S bomb, okay. And it is a great. Hi, oh, how nice, how nice. This is very good, but I think we can, we can do better. Like, bomb immunity would make this run a complete and, uh, you know, like a done deal. We do still take damage. Oh shit, I just realized we have a uh, cursed eye as well. 
Let's hope uh, that is not the problem here. And we have fruitcake, is that it? Just couldn't tell because it's just this uh, X tier that we have. Okay. I mean, they're just gonna get rerolled anyway, but we should take pick up the guppy item and then uh, be on our way. That's um, fruitcake again. Giving us three, uh, like, not three shot, triple shot. Um. I'm taking uh, the HP here because even if we reroll, we should keep the HP containers. Although I do like Tech X. Um, same with the Spirit Hearts from uh, Mr. Dolly. We should keep those too. Oh, and we do also have the purity effect. The, the strength aura from purity, which is nice. Yeah, sure. Let's bring it on here. Of course, um, shoal waves are always uh, a little bit dicey since it's really hard to overlook. It's really easy to overlook uh, the these uh, little spiders in the darkness. Okay. A little bit uncalled for. Same goes for, uh, you know, the, the lump of coal tech X on the dark background here. And the item removes shit. Uh, fuck it. You know what that means? We roll. What is this? Okay. Um, first of all, we can go into the item room. Uh, into the. Uh, that's nice. Into the secret room, and we got Steven, which is actually pretty uh, damn amazing. Um, we do have Ipecac. We have no bomb immunity. We do have a uh, Dark Bomb, which is pretty cool. So, with Ipecac, the damage should be really good, actually. It kind of seems that way. Yeah, I can see this working. Of course, we do also have uh, Lazarus' rags here, so we should not... Like, possibly we should not... Um, you know, die. <laughs> and and uh, go... Go forth as Lazarus. Oh yeah, um, almost forgot to mention. We also have uh, like a permanent magician. What do they call it? Uh, Spoonbender. So... This is actually a huge DPS increase. Not just because of Ipecac, but... Enemies can't really avoid me, so it's got close to 100%... Ooh, and two diamonds as well. It's got like close to 100% uh, accuracy. Okay. Now the deal with the, deals with the devil really do anything, so... Let's keep the HP and go down to the shop. This is looking right, like really, really good. Um, not interested in that, really. But two of diamonds would be amazing. And uh, let's see what's in here. More money. And I'm leaning more and more towards not rerolling this. This looks like really 
uh, really effective. Oh, and head of the keeper. Well, I mean, um, I don't know if it's gonna work at all, like you would expect, but we have it. Now I'm actually thinking of, well, first of all, the D100 is a good item still to hold, uh, just in case we um, we find ourselves almost dying against Ultra V, we can just panic reroll, and usually we get some health out of that. The problem with that is, of course, that you don't know um, if you then have the appropriate amount of uh, damage that you need. We'll see. <laughs> that was very, very... Oh, this is, this is satisfying. Look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> and, of course, the obligatory double stain fight. And this stain, well, finally he uh, is going under. He still stayed still for way too long. Oh, come on. Yes. I wish they didn't do that. Um. I mean, Terra Cloth is basically worth 50 cent, I believe. Uh, and we'll definitely get another HP upgrade, so that's really good. So, we'll buy Latch Key because I don't see any other thing that is really that important. Um. Okay, bad idea. Paralysis. Paralysis, that's fine. Okay, and now we can uh, actually use two diamonds. And we're back at almost full HP. <laughs> full uh, money. Uh, and here's the HP we bought those uh, all that money with. <laughs> Which is a weird sentence to say. Um, nah. Mm, okay, raw liver, and what else? What else is on the menu? Ooh, holy light. Again, I don't know if it's... Uh, it has a synergy with... Um, oh, and we got fungi too. And I do feel a little bit slow, so the belt should help with that. Another reroll, please. Um, sure. Let's see if it works. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll take Pandora's box, which gives me even more money. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't know how this works. Don't, um,. <laughs> this chaos too. A little bit too late there. Although, I mean, it could give us some extra items. <laughs> it worked again. <laughs> well, now we get chaos for free, of course. It's getting a little bit. Um... Ooh, and look at the famine. Getting a little bit uh, crowded in here. No, I'm not gonna reroll myself again. <laughs> oh man. Sure. Why the hell not? We should not be holding the excited pill. <laughs> Whew. 
Okay. Here we go. Ultra Breed as Isaac. With homing tears that are pretty damn good, it seems. Homing lasers. Ooh, look at these uh, shiny effects in the darkness here. Idea to be standing there. I'm also thinking of um, putting down more bombs just because we might get HP out of them or something. Maybe even pills. And because we're laser, we can just basically stand wherever we want. And know that we're gonna hit him. Right? I think so. Okay. Almost started to that one. Uh, I mean, his health is not really melting as fast as I'd like. Basically, operating under the um, assumption, I guess, that like higher value coins heal him for more. Makes sense, right? So I always go for the nickels and dimes. Okay, got run over again. This is basically <laughs> like Reed's nightclub. <laughs> Stomping around when, well, uh, the. And, and doing pirouettes even. <laughs> while uh, the, the floor is um, sliding up, and. Basically, we're, we're doing the, the light show here. into these beams. Health. Health downgrade? Man, I was so enthusiastic about that one. God damn it. Careful there. Yeah, we're a lot less uh, powerful than I thought. I don't know if it's because of the beam or whatever. Ouch. Man. Slow down! You have to understand that I do kind of know the, the um, ha come on, the patterns, um, relatively, like not in extreme detail, but I know where I should be going and how, sh how I should be avoiding it, but my brain doesn't work. <laughs> I don't have to... <laughs> I don't have the, uh, um, what's it called, uh, um, the, uh, 
rhythm, the uh, muscle memory yet, right? But what I do underestimate is the range of these uh, bomb coins. Thick. Got it like three or four times by now. See? Jesus fuck, we might actually still lose this at one and a half hearts. Come on. Die already! Oh, that was a full heart! Oh my god. <laughs> D1 has appeared in the basement, okay. Dude, I almost doubted myself there. Whew. And uh, this is our Isaac win. Um, I don't know who it was channeling there. Yeah, good stuff. I do like it very much. And our donation machine is actually going to really lofty heights again. I wasn't thinking I was going to be playing this much medium mode, but yeah, you know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.